All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Solo Leveling Episode Nine. Uh, in the last episode, uh, Jin Wu and Jin Ho formed their kind of squad in hopes of growing into a what is it? A, a, I can't think of the word, but basically a group. A group, um, obviously, so they can com compete with the other higher groups. What am I looking at? Clans? Oh, that's not the word I'm looking for. Uh, <clears throat> So yeah, Jin, we finally decided to settle on that. Uh, he's aiming to get stronger here, but because of all the red tape, he can't do it through legal means um, yet. So in the meantime, he's decided to do a D-class dungeon. Um, yeah, uh, within this D-class dungeon, just so happens that all the people he went, <laughs> he was in the uh, unknown class dungeon with are there as well, which is cool. It's nice to see them again. Uh, the girl finally got out uh, for the first time. Um, Old, old man Mr. Song, he's really cool, respectable guy, he's there too. And then big guy as well, oh, and the other guy who came back to his wife and kid too. So yeah, I, I'm thinking that possibly because they're talking about needing a squad, it'd be really cool if it was these guys. Um, there's also the purple B-class dude who was actually there in episode 3, I believe. Um, who came to kind of re-rank uh, Jin Woo, but obviously he was still low rank. Low rank. Um, I forgot that, someone reminded me of that, thank you very much. And uh, there's also prisoners there, which he's keeping an eye on, which I'd, I feel like some fox shit's going to go down with those, so I guess we'll see. Um, was also a point in the episode as well where the uh, Jin Ho's kind of father's company came to kind of try and recruit the s rank girl. That didn't work, obviously. Um, but yeah, it was interesting to see. Obviously, they keep kind of focusing on her character slightly, so we'll see if she becomes more relevant down the line. Um, but yeah, very excited for this episode. So as always guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. <laughs> uh, random drop. One in a million chance. Oh, he can see his aura. Interesting. He knows which route to take, doesn't he? The one on the left? Yeah. Okay, good. The prisoners are being split up. What are you looking at, Chief? He knows. He knows I've changed. Yeah, but he also got called in for that crazy dungeon. Yeah. Be careful. Oh, he's gonna die. Why would you say that? That sounds like a death lag. There was already death lags for him in the last episode, for fuck's sake. Alright, so, I mean... Jimu went down the, the path with the boss, so like... I think the only th other thing that's a problem in this dungeon is the prisoners. Wait, what? Wait, is it the prisoners? Oh, it is them. Is he here to kill them? We'll take that. Yeah, if they die in this dungeon, that, that's, that sucks. It's part of the game. Three billion? Oh my fuck. Yeah, I don't mind. Shut up, look, dear boy. Valid, especially what they did to, to be imprisoned. Oh shit. Oh no, no witnesses. I promise I won't tell. Look the other way. Walk backwards. Oh dude, no, come on. Oh shit, he knows. Damn. No, don't kill them. Yeah, he remembers you. Oh shit. Please say the other two are okay. <gasps> Fuck! Heal! Heal! Oh, no, he's already dead. Heal! He's fine. Heal! Go, quickly. It ain't the time, come on. What the fuck? He, like, tortured him. Come on, bro. 
Jin, well, you got to heal an item or something. Come on. Oh, damn. Does he not have anything to, that he can use for heal? I guess not. He could buy something from the store, though. Isn't there healing items? Bruh. No. Fuck. Oh, shit. Not today, boy. Well, this is interesting. If he dies in this Class D dungeon, people are going to be suspicious. Oh, this guy's fucking evil. Uh, no. We're good here. Come on, bro. Okay, Shanks, let's go. <laughs> Jinwoo, you better step in before... Oh, it's a fucking... Yeah. Illusion. Can you, can you give him a buff? Is that possible? Oh, nice healing. Bro, this guy's fucking cool. Good shit, bro. One-armed as well. Fair play. Let's go. Oh, this guy's fucking quick. This is the power of a B-class? Jeez. Oh, she out of mana? Fuck. Alright, Jinru, now's time. Oh, magic! Let's go! I swear. Nah, he he'll be fine. Come on, Jinru. Yeah. <laughs> e rank, as far as you know. Oh, she looks pissed. I think the system's about to send him a little notification in a second. Yeah, bro. Oh, assassin build versus assassin build. This is cool. Oh, the daughter died as well? Damn, I didn't read that bit. Yeah, he didn't give a fuck about the prisoners. Yeah, he did torture them. Fucking piece of shit. What a fucking freak. What if he what if he was re-ranked to S class though? Like is, is that a possibility? So is this saying then that this is that right now Jim Wu's around B rank? <laughs> yep, yeah, the system's noticed, you're fucked. Nope. Oh, look at him. Okay. Done. Oh! Poison. Oh, get fucked. Damn. Well, today will be a first. Yeah, stop yapping, bro. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't believe it, bro. Oh, shit. I mean, yeah. He deserves it. Oh, shit. So smoothly deflecting the fucking attacks. Meta's intent. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, that was hard. Yeah, but he doesn't go around killing people for fun. As, unless these two keep them out, sure. Oof. Damn. That, feels, that fits his character exactly at the moment. 
Ability points. Runestone Stealth. Ooh. So maybe he can do what he did? Yeah. He needs to be able to control that. He's losing his emotions. Have you got your knife? Is it still in that dude's chest? Wait. Just take their bodies. What do you mean? Oh, I guess one of them's probably not that strong and one of them's got one arm. Damn. Oh, so they explained the story to them. Nice. He's going to get re-ranked. Forcibly. Where's the compensation? Is, uh... Mr. Captain over here gonna say it? Yes, good shit. Listen, if he had two arms, I think he would have done it. Oh shit. So this is all right. So basically, this officially puts him at, at a high B rank. I'd say. This song's dope. Oh, they're gonna go out for a meal or a date, whatever it was. Right, so that was solo leveling episode 9. Another very good episode there. Uh, once again, Jim Moves had to kill a person. Obviously, this person also had to be dealt with. The system even decided on that. Um, so, yes, it, it, to him at the moment, it feels like he's losing a part, a part of himself every time he actually kills someone. And the stronger he gets, the further into the darkness he goes, as uh, this guy was explaining. But, I mean, at the very least so far, it's people that weren't good people. And he had no other choice. Like, they were killing him or he was killing them. That's that. Sucks that, uh, obviously, two of the members of the party died, especially the one that had a wife and kid. Um, I really thought all of them may, I like, kind of, join, kind of join up as a squad. Obviously, there's still a chance here for, was it Juhi? Is that her name? Juhi? And uh, Song to join him as well. I think it'd be really cool. Um, we can trust them. We know their abilities. Honestly, Mr. Song was putting up a fight um, against uh, the, the B-Class dude. So, fair play to him. Um, but yeah, overall, a very good episode. I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Uh, Jimu managed to keep his secret for a little bit longer. We'll see how long that goes. But yeah, anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction. Have an nice rest of your day and peace out.